Hi, I'm Dan Winter. So many people have asked me to explain the little gravity story in our recent article, goldenmean.info slash golden, golden proof, that I, we decided to make a short recording called Explaining Gravity. Uh, so this was the article. It was called Golden Proof. And in it, we took the opportunity to look at the fact that golden ratio actually did explain the radii of things like hydrogen and um, palladium in very simple equations relating the Planck length and golden ratio to the actual golden ratio 3 radii in hydrogen. So this film is called Explaining Gravity from Little Black Holes to Big Black Holes. And first I want to thank all the people who sent congratulations for our new physics, especially Michael at uh, toquest.com, Theory of Everything. The discussion groups have been very supportive and they're beginning to kind of get it how important this is about golden ratio, fractality, and gravity being a central theme to explain physics in a way that makes it available to the layperson as well as a powerful new understanding that makes technical people able to use new technologies based on the relationship of electricity to gravity. So let's start at the beginning. Um, we're looking now at what we've been explaining for many years where we look at this geometry where the golden ratio is based at a compression path into a still point or a zero point and that this effective nesting of the pent, the dodeca and golden ratio which later then became the E8 story and the latest unified field physics. So what we've been saying is that the attraction due to gravity is actually caused by the adding and multiplying constructively successfully of the heterodynes of waves of charge and as they approach center the phase velocities create a, a centripetal force where compression turns into acceleration. The nice thing is that this image is actually kind of romantic. It's like zooming in golden ratio, perfect heart spirals, entrancing. And it's all based on this idea of the vesica pisces, this perfect nesting, perfect embedding, perfect zooming. You know, this looks like an eyeball, and in fact we think that this phase conjugation is the cause of perception. And as we've been explaining that <clears throat> when waves stellate in this geometry, which we originally called the star, mate, the star mother, but when they, when they actually progress in this geometry, <clears throat> they actually become what's called E8, which is an extension of the dodeca ecosa, the natural platonics, all based on golden ratio, into the, <clears throat> the multidimensional array that physics with Garrett Lisi is now using to account for all the fundamental particles and gravity in a unified field. Note that in this geometry, the charge distribution becomes perfect. Actually, this, the way in which the wave velocities communicate is faster than the speed of light because the golden ratio phase velocities add and multiply through light speed. And that's creates this perfect multiple connectedness, the self-organization of phase conjugation. And in phase conjugation, as in optics, cones of light, or lasers, approach from four directions called four-wave mixing. And they create an implosion point and in phase conjugate optics, clearly this creates self-organization and the superluminal connection, they call it time reversal, that when waves of charge go through the speed of light, <clears throat> that they in fact travel in time. And this is where Einstein was confused when he said, oh, there's a speed limit at the speed of light. This golden ratio phase conjugation is the ticket through the speed limit <laughs> that Choosing Einstein... Passion carefully aligns the magnetic field donuts around the heart... So and this is our holy grail animation, and as you see, it becomes actually a physics of how to compress charge successfully. So this is a map of how charge approach center in the center of not just the star mother kit, but the E8 model, both based entirely on golden mean ratio. And we see it's been called the holy grail, but it's called the holy grail merely because it's perfect fractality, and that perfect adding and multiplying is what allows waves to compress perfectly and therefore radiate or distribute perfectly and therefore create the stable standing wave of compression called gravity. So we all know that golden mean ratio is central to biology, that this perfect electrical distribution based on golden ratio is central to all biological structures like your hand. And it's in fact what the geometry of fetal unpacking and the geometry of perfect dimpling or perfect nesting it's the geometry of the way your body unfolds from fetus to body. And 
Most importantly, or more even importantly, it's the geometry of how biology unpacks. So we've long known that this golden mean ratio, Fibonacci to phylotaxis to golden mean, is the basis of all biologic structures. structures. But what we haven't known is the electrical reason why. And the electrical reason why golden ratio is central to biology is because that's what makes it a charge attractor. Literally, it's how all living materials get electricity from gravity and are able to be called alive because they have that imploding source of charge from gravity, which the implosion of charge caused by golden mean ratio makes possible. That's why it's central to life. So here is, as we've t talked many times, the golden mean in DNA. So if we take that story then and apply it to what we've recently measured, we see what we're now calling phase conjugate dielectrics. That if you take these recipes for the music of golden ratio dielectrically based on Planck and golden ratio, and you build these <clears throat> uh, phase conjugate dielectric crystals, you see them in uh, the white crystals in the phase conjugate gold cup here, the gold egg, the white crystals in there are resin that's been treated with this confidential frequency recipe uh, piezoelectrically, and it becomes charge implosive. And it's these phase conjugate dielectric capacitors, which is what we think defines the term shem, as in shem on and a jed or a dolmen that these shem were making an electric field, that we took these and we were able to measure an increase in fractality in air when we put these around an antenna the GDV measurement fractality in air, these three points were triggered by the phase conjugate dielectric eggs you saw with Karatkov's fractality in air measure. And here we see the difference in the absorption of sugar during fermentation when you put the liquid being fermented in the center of this phase conjugate dielectric capacitor. So that's why your compost pile gets hotter if you put it in the center of an electric fractal. And that's the, the physics of how the ancients built Stonehenge to make